Right, hi. Now, this video was supposed to be a, a Q&A for Retribution Paladins in Legion after the first couple of weeks. I've had a load of people uh, since watching my Essentials Guides, which sort of covers everything, but there's a lot of people now that they've got the chance to try it out and Legion's launched and all the rest of it have got some like niche questions or some fiddly little questions. Um, so what I did is I went through those on Saturday. Um, took me some time to do that. Tried to render the video, wouldn't render, error at the end. I've, I've tried all sorts of things and it's not having it. Some, one of the files that I've produced, probably one of my video files, has got a little glitch in it somewhere, I don't know where, and it's not having it. And I have spent now, not a solid 48 hours, but for the past more than, well, about 48 hours, that I have been spending trying to do this. Obviously, yeah, I've spent most of that time actually gaming, and it's just rendered in the background. And I've tried building it back up from scratch and it's not having it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a live Q&A like I did at the, the end of August. This coming, it'll be Saturday. It can't be Sunday because that's a raid night. We're into raiding in the next reset. So next Saturday, it will be 7 o'clock p.m. UK time, which is the sort of time I, I go for. Uh, unfortunately, it's not ideal for everyone, but it's the sort of time where... People from North America, it's sort of morning for you guys, people in Europe, as long as you're not really far to the east in Europe, it's sort of okay as well, it's not too bad, and it's Saturday as well, so it's laying on Sunday as well, if it is quite late for you, uh, apologies to those um, for whom it's still not that great, but unfortunately the world is around shape, yeah. So, what I'm going to do in this video is in preparation for that because one of the most common questions there's a little bit of quite a variety of questions but one of the most common one is about stats and stat weights uh, and unfortunately what you have to do for that i'll just tackle this one is you have to be able to sim yourself now i did a video on sort of simming before legion but it was really using profiles now we can sim ourselves sort of so in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to go through the process of doing that with simcraft not Ask Mr. Robot. That's not to say Ask Mr. Robot is not good. If you're happy using that, use that. The The reason I'm not doing that at the moment is because I've tried to do a video on that and I sort of ran out. Of, it was my computer that had an issue. It wasn't Ask Mr. Robot simulator that was a problem. Um, but until I sort that out, I can't really do an in-depth one. And I don't really want to talk about it until I have gone into it more in-depth because most of the time I spent on it was, again, with profiles rather than live characters. So this is going to be for SimCraft to get some stat weights. Um, and, and I will then talk in more detail about this on the live Twitch stream, which, as I say, will be this coming Saturday. Oh, my God, I've got to think of the date now. That would be, what, the 24th of September? Yes, the 24th of September, 7 p.m. UK time in the evening. So look up UK time. Don't be looking up things like GMT or anything like that because it sort of switches over. So just look that up for your own time zone, see what it is. Hopefully you can make it. If you can't, then keep the questions coming in. Obviously, there's a load of questions already coming that I will go through. Uh, it might be quite a long one. It could well be a quite a long one. It was last time, uh, last two times, in fact. So hopefully I'll see you then. Hopefully this will help you in the meantime. This is like your homework to do before the lesson, if you like. Um, if you're not familiar with SimCraft or if stats is one of the things, make sure you can use this. Okay. So first thing you need, of course, is SimCraft. Now, if you just Google it, SimCraft download, you'll come to a page much like this. And of course, you can click on that and that'll give you the install. But what I tend to click on is here because you might have an updated one. Now, go for the, the last one, the uh, .exe on the end. So at the moment, it's 70303. Uh, so that's the one I am going for there. So once we've got um, SimCraft open, the first thing we are going to want to do, we get a page like this, is to click on import. There's a tab just up there. Um, and that's how we're going to import our character profile into SimCraft. Now, before we actually do anything on the import tab, I should have said, in the options tab, first of all, and on globals, you need to make sure that the Armory region is correct. It's US by default. Of course, I'm not in the US. I'm on Europe servers. So I need to click on EU. Then I'm going to go to import. So in import, you can see you've got a drop down menu for your realm. So I've lost it. <laughs> so I'm on laughing skull. Uh, type your character name in and just click import. Now, 
it may be a little bit behind that's because the armory is a little bit behind they've not updated the armory really so for me it seems to be several days out of date but th at this stage it's not too much i'm not getting upgrades every day or anything uh, so it's not a big deal now so what we've got is all our information here i'm not going to really change any of it but there are two things that can be changed easily now the talents are here so obviously don't muck about with all this but the numbers here um, represent all your talents a zero means it's the talent on the left hand side um, a one means it's the talent in the middle and a two means it's the talent on the right hand side with the the talent the number on the left representing your level 15 the one at the top and the one right at the right hand side is your level 100 talent so if I go through for mine, I'm looking at my talents, I'm thinking, okay, for raids, I'm going to be, because this is just what the armory says I had when I logged out, but, you know, who knows what that was. So it's saying I've got final verdict there. It's saying I've got, let me think now, that's zeal. I don't want that to be zeal. I'm going to find a justice. The next one is the crowd control one. Blinding light, yeah, we'll keep that. The next one is the blade of justice one for me. No. What am I going for? Blade of wrath. Um, the next one, God, I've got to think, is at the moment it's set on Justicar's Vengeance. I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for Word of Glory, which is two, I believe. Um, the next one, Divine Intervention, sure. The next one, Crusade. Yeah, good. Now, for the artifact, I'm going to leave it as it is. because. Uh, but if you want to sort of predict ahead and you think, okay, well... And you want to change your artifact around for like have a couple of extra traits you can do that relatively straightforward i wouldn't advise trying to do that through your head but there is a way to do that with wowhead's artifact calculator and i will show you how to do that um, later on because i'm not going to change that at the moment so once you've got all that then we want to go to the options tab again and we want to have a look at some options so once we've got our character, you know, the, we've imported the character, we've changed the talents and, if necessary, the artifact, so that it makes sure the character template is what we want it to be. In the options tab, first of all, in globals, let me just go down some of the things. Most of them we weren't going to change about. One thing we might want to change about, the, the length of the fight you can change there with the variable. The standard fight style is patchwork. Now, patchwork... It's not particularly suitable. It's pure single target. Now, most fights are not... And this means no movement as well, by the way. Now, most fights aren't that. The reason why patchwork is used by default... And if ever you see Sims comparing different specs, by the way, it's always for patchwork fights. Um, and, and yeah, sure, that's not like any other fight. But neither is any other sort of style. So they just go for that because, do you know what? Um, out of all the ones you can go for, it's probably the, the most relatable. But you don't have to. Another one I quite like for raids is Beast Lord. So this is one where it's single target with frequent waves of ads. Now I don't think there's going to be frequent waves of ads. And where there are ads, it might well be that some of the ones um, like Havoc Demon Hunters and, and Windwalker Monks at the moment, until they're nerfed, may well beast them down quicker than I can anyway. So you know what? We'll go for patchwork. It, again, you know, it's what people are used to. I'll stick with that. So, But you can change some settings in there if you want. Then what you can do is you can click on a, a few other things as well. You can click on the buffs and debuffs. We want to make sure, because we want to we want stat weights, uh, and the default settings won't show us stat weights if we just leave it as it is. So I'm just going to click on buffs and debuffs next. Yep, that's what I'm going to do there. Right. Oh, no, not be, what am I talking about? Scaling. Ah, this is what we want. Right, so scaling. I've already got it set up how I want. So strength, which is my primary stat. Um, crit, haste, mastery, versatility, the secondary stats, and also weapon DPS. Not such a big thing now because that's only going to apply to relics which don't have stats on them, got a trait on them. Um, but just for the hell of it, that's what I put in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to have on scaling. And you need to click on enable scaling as well, quite important. I'm just going to click on plots. I've done the same thing in there. We're not really going to use those. But again, click on that and then the, the ones that you are interested in yourself and that's it we should be ready to go and simulate at this point so we go back to simulate this is where all our information is again we're all happy with it and all we're going to do is click on simulate uh, it may take some time the more iterations you have the longer it takes the more things you want it to sort of scale the more stats you want it the longer it will take 
but we do want these stats because we want those stat weights. So once it has finished, then we can see what we actually want to see. There's loads of stuff down here, forget all about that. What we need is just down here. These are our stat weights. Now remember, these are the stat weights for the specific talents that I put in, for the specific fight that I put in, which is pure single target, and for the specific um, build of my, uh, God, I can't think of words now, artifact, that's it. Now, what we notice here is you look at it and it's going, okay, haste, still best for me, me personally, then versatility, round about the same as crit, then mastery. Now, here's an interesting thing. I did do this, I'm not going to show you, but I've, I do a lot of these myself, you know, not hundreds or anything silly like that, but I do a lot of them. Um, and when I do it for Beast Lord, which is much more of the old, oh, there's waves of ads, so like dungeon. So when I do this for like Beast Lord, so like waves of ads as well as single target, it may be more useful in a dungeon, although for dungeon I'd probably go for Hectic Ad Cleave or something to bung that movement in. Um, I actually get haste being worse. Now this is what I mean about it depends on the conditions. You have to think about what you're using this for. If you're looking ahead at Mythic Plus dungeons, use one fight style if you're thinking of raids and then because even raids have ads in them but you think how realistically you're going to do on those ads are you much better off focusing on single target and that's sort of what i'm thinking of um then this is what this is saying for me also bear in mind so yeah bear in mind that this stat priority here haste greater than versatility crit around about the same and then greater than mastery which is a standard one to go for it's one i said to go for in the early stages that can change if i get a bit more haste like at the moment i'm not on 30 percent haste i'm on just under 27 percent if i get a bit more it's going to lose value that haste is going to lose value um but that's what it is at the moment so that's probably what i'm going to put in my pawn strings for when i want to upgrade my last few pieces of gear so when i decide which crafted pieces of gear i'm going to get just to finish off my character before the raid um but it will be different for you this is not stat weights to use for yourself i'm not even going to use these stats in a week's time when i see myself again after maybe getting some things in heroic i'm not going to be using the same stat weights because things will have changed also i'll have had a better look at the fights because i've not actually experienced them yet um and i'll decide to myself is patchwork suitable or should i go for beast lord or something else uh, a different type of fight style should i change the length of the fight all these sorts of things should i change a talent if i change a talent the whole thing goes so bear that in mind when you're doing it yourself but this is how you you simulate it what i'm going to do next is just show you if you wanted to import uh, a different artifact string in i will show you how to do that next so when you google wowhead artifact calculator you get something like this so you click on it for whatever artifact i'm going to click on the old ashbringer and we get this so if i want um to change the the string for that i'm not going to put the relics in but uh so let's have a look so roughly at the moment i'm on about here come here babe there we go now let's say i want to look ahead to there so let's say i'll just do that um what i can do is i can click link which is in the top right hand corner and it'll give me a simulation craft string. It gives you three types of things. But it's a simulation craft string. Just highlight the whole lot and control C copy. So what we can then do, if you have a look down here, it says artifact. We can just highlight, be very, very careful what you highlight, only that number string, and paste. And there we go. We've got the new thing in there. So I could then simulate with that. Um if I was looking a little bit ahead, if I was, you know, if you thought you were imminent. I mean, bear in mind, I don't think there's any great need to do this because the, once you get to a certain point, and we're all probably at that point now, the new artifact trait points don't come thick and fast. You get to a certain point and it's like going to take you about a week just to get one. So um, it's not going to change very often. You might as well just use the one that's in the armory. But if you did want to change it for whatever reason, there it is. That's it. So apologies once again for the fact that this isn't the full-blooded um, Q&A that I had intended this weekend. And of course, it's put me behind with several other videos as well. Right nightmare. Uh, the weekend should be the time when I at least get a couple good ones out. Um, 
But yeah, so we'll do the live one next Saturday. Hopefully it'll all go swimmingly. And hopefully you've had a go at SimCraft before that. Don't ask me about stat weights if you haven't had a go at SimCraft, first of all. Or ask Mr. Robot. That's fine too. I haven't heard bad things about it. Usually if there's something wrong with something, um, you'll hear about it. I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about Ask Mr. Robot. So although I need to test a few things out myself before I want to talk publicly about it, I've not heard anything bad. So, And it's a user-friendly uh, way. So if you want to use that and you're already using that, use it. Go for it. Okay. So I hope you found it useful. As always, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, and if it's waiting for the next rep video, until this Saturday, I'll see you later.